My Coetti's loaded, it's full of ballast. I put it in your face and you won't say nada. Welcome to Canonical Chronicle episode 9 billion and 3. Let's get into it. It's the big boss. My Coetti's loaded, it's full of ballast. I put it in your face and you won't say nada. Google have just announced an insane number of updates to search at Google I.O. Now, if you're asking, what is Google I.O.? Well, imagine Woodstock, but for nerds. So instead of Janis Joplin singing, oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? It's a bunch of guys who could literally buy Mercedes Benz. Oh, and by the way, I mean the entire company, not just the car. So inside Google News, we are now going to get a timeline of events so you can string an entire story together as it happens. It will also see a top stories section, which is gonna be a collection of the most authoritative stories on the topic that you just searched for. What's more, the stories in Google News will also contain podcasts, including the ability to actually search the podcasts. Unless, of course, it's a Scottish podcast, voice recognition doesn't really work when you sound like Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello! Ah! Now, remember, you can add markup to the site to indicate a podcast, so please take full advantage of it. For podcast markup to work, you need to have a valid RSS feed that Google specifies, at least one podcast in your feed, and a dedicated homepage with a special link back to the RSS feed. Full details are on the Google Developers blog. Next up, Googlebot is getting an upgrade. Googlebot also got a massive upgrade which now allows them to crawl more of the modern web, which has got SEOs going like... Yeah, she's a bitch. The bot has been upgraded to Chromium rendering version 74. This means Google will be able to see more content, especially around anything containing JavaScript. Dude, did you say that Google can now crawl JavaScript? Yeah. yeah. But not so fast. This comes with a warning. They still can't see everything. But they do have an entire YouTube series on JavaScript SEO, so you can now see everything you need to know straight from the horse's mouth. Fucking yes! My advice though, give it another year. I mean, keep content and like major navigation components in plain HTML. And for the love of God, please stop using technology like React and Angular if you're making a brochure site, just stick to WordPress. Unless you have like some complex ecosystem of like apps and PWAs and all that sort of stuff, please save yourself the headache. Google said it's gonna roll out 3D and AR later this month, and you're gonna be seeing certain animals in the knowledge panel with 3D and augmented reality. The example they used was this creepy as flying augmented reality shark. I always said, the day we see AR in search, a pig might fly. Turns out it was a shark, a baby shark, a mummy shark, a daddy shark. You get the picture. Sorry, that's gonna be in your heads all day now. That one was for you, Alida. In all seriousness, the AR piece has huge implications for e-commerce. Can you imagine being able to Google like a new hat or like some sunglasses and being able to like take a selfie AR to see if it actually looks good on you? What? Oh, you've just edited a bunch of bullshit. Okay, thanks. Man. Google Lens has also had an update and it's now able to read text in a hundred different languages. Whoa, I haven't seen something that was able to read a text and interpret a hundred different ways since my ex. If I was your girlfriend, I'd never let you leave without a small recording device taped under your sleeve. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, of course it's nothing like my ex. Lens will also have the ability to read aloud just so everyone around you knows that you have no idea what you're talking about and it is right. Lens is right, you're wrong. And to be fair, the faster you admit it, the better for both of you. I'm not yelling, who, who, who's yelling? Well, okay, maybe it is a little bit similar to my ex. Lastly, there were updates to Google Assistant with Duplex, which is a program that you can ask to do tasks for you, things like book haircuts. So now you should be able to go get your phone and say, okay Google, rent me a car. Here's the definition of rent boy, 
Informal. A young male prostitute. Whoa, 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 no, no. I said, OK Google, rent me a car. No, a car, as in vroom, vroom, vroom. <sighs> ah, what the hell? Okay, next up we have a ton of updates for Search Console. Firstly, a brand new shiny report showing unparsable structured data, which I obviously don't need because I am great at structured data. Hey, thanks for coming out. Um, yeah, so structured parsable data. Um, you know, I'm so good at structured parsable data that if I was Harry Potter, I would be a parsable tongue. I calendar most of my romantic dates because I'm a structured dater. Structured, nope, nope. Um, my mother's also great at structured data. You could say she's a scheme ma. Scheme. Okay. Search Engine Land have some screenshots of what the new report will look like. If you're not into schema and marking up entities on a page, you really, really need to start. Now to work out why Google may want us to give them more structured data, let's quickly ask the Type A Media data scientist, Jack, why they would want structured data. All right, so Jack, so when it comes to structured versus unstructured data, um, what's preferable? Oh, by far is structured data. Like whenever you're building anything, uh, using data visualizations, having a uh, structured data saves so much time. I mean, the majority uh, of time can be spent just passing it, wrangling the data and getting it into a usable form. So. so do you think that once Google have done all this, it's going to help them to power the knowledge panels more and also maybe Google Voice? Sure, 100% think so, yeah. And so you as a non-SEO user of Google, do you think that's a good thing for the user or a bad thing? Sounds like a good thing. Interesting. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. Cool. Appreciate it. See you. See SEO friends, this is what we're up against. Rampant progress. Thanks, Jack. Other Search Console updates include the Search Box Enhancement Report. So if you're looking to enhance your box, that's where you need to go. Big feet. So you get the site like search box when you add the appropriate markup to the page. A really good example of this is a travel site like TripAdvisor. So the report is going to show you any code errors that you've got and it's going to suggest a bunch of fixes, which for me is kind of a shame if I had like a new search box report. What I would want to see is the keywords people were looking for in the search box, not some code validation thing, but hey, maybe next year. Next up, it is a big one. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. The new Search Console update includes logo markup reports. Logo markup? Whoop de fing do. Who cares? They're now going to show you a report of where the logo markup on your site doesn't work. I kind of feel like I need to make the face I make at Christmas when my estranged uncle gives me a gift of something he found in the house on the way to Christmas dinner five minutes before. Oh. AdWords, thanks. In my mind, the people that use logo markup reports are probably the same people that start a site optimization by finding the alt attributes and optimizing them. Why? And lastly, Google are launching a new video series called Mythbusters, where they look to talk to SEOs in the industry and bust SEO myths. What in the name of bloody hell? <laughs> It will be hosted by Google engineer Martin Split, who is kind of like a Mac Cuts, but for the woke generation. They will be talking to practicing SEOs about everything from JavaScript all the way up to links. And to be fair, the trailer looks epic. <laughs> No one understands how the Googlebot actually like works. The ominous, the great, the Googlebot. What are the you know top three things that I should be doing? Is there much of a difference between like framework sizes and approaches for how those might get crawled? Is JavaScript the devil? <laughs> and I welcome any fun and informative content from Google. 
but I'm guessing that it's going to be mostly technical SEO myth busting. And as always, dear viewer, please take everything Google says with a little pinch of salt. There are absolutely no absolutes in SEO. If you want to work out what tactics work, then test, test, test. Oh God, I just wish I took that advice in college. That's everything for this week's Canonical Chronicle. Please do subscribe and leave a comment below for the lyric that you would like in the next intro. Also, please do follow us on social if you are so inclined. But until next time, we will see you later.